everyone. Trying to get set up here. Making sure I can see everybody. Hello. Melissa. Melissa, right? <laughs> I know this. I know this. I don't know this for sure, but I know this. Hello, Dana. Okay. Oh, gelato thingy. Bethany, hello. Susan, hello. Oh, I did get it. Yay. I'm smart. <laughs> How is everybody doing? Hope everybody's doing okay. Hello, Wendy. It's April. I'm not ready. <laughs> Street here. Okay, thanks. He's cool. He's not. You're here, kinda. Hello, Mary. Me too. I'm here, kinda. Hello from Holland. Hello to Holland. Um, Haddock and Bentley. Oh, huh. hello, Lori. Ugh, I'm, I am kinda ish today, so <laughs> hope everybody else is doing a little bit better than I am. Um, all right, so I'm going to stick with the same sort of setup for my weekly spread, but I don't know. Y'all decide. I can either do the outside with the color on it, or we can go all open space with, um, the little galaxy theme in the back. Oh, Denmark as well. Hello. <laughs> Oh, okay, I'm going to try to remember that. Haddock and Bentley is Amy. Okay. Is that Macon? Macon? Hello. <laughs> oh, crap. Wendy's speaking Dutch, right? <laughs> I can't read that. And I'm out of the loop. All right, what do we want to do? We want to do like a, the full sort of starry theme in the background or just the edges? I need to find some stinking washi tape because I wasn't prepared. Uh, well, at least I got the Dutch part right. And I knew what good meant. <laughs> but that was as far as I got. Oh, and I can read Amy. <laughs> But yeah, that was the extent of it. Edges. All right, edges. I got one vote for edges. All right. If we're only doing edges, then I don't really need washi tape. But I am going to need my ruler. I'm really not set up here for nothing. Um, but you'll be good. That's okay, Wendy. You're bad most of the time, so it's okay if you stick with that theme as well. <laughs> I'm kidding. I love you. You know that. Um, be bad. Embrace it. It'll be good. All right. Let's see. All right. So, I think we'll just do the edges. All right. What color? Last week was purple. I've got a lot of purple going on. What color do we want this week to be? I'm going to start putting in my lines and then we'll figure out the color scheme in the meantime. So, anybody have any big plans this past week? Or anybody's got any big plans this weekend? We still have one fly. One fly who will not die. And I don't have that vinegary stuff out here right now because I thought they all went away and died but they didn't there's one fly in here and he's determined that he wants to be my boyfriend so 
Dark blue. Ooh, blue, dark blue. How late is it there now? Oh, wow. It is 3 o'clock here. I didn't know if everybody changed times because um, we changed times, obviously, overnight last night. Um, but it's not even a whole of the United States thing, so I didn't know how that was going to affect... Um, the people who watch me from over the pond. Um, because I don't know if y'all do that or not. Do y'all do that? Do y'all change times? You're distracted by the journaling. Some proof of Simba dick. Oh, okay. You do change times. Oh. So then, am I on the same time now for y'all that I would have been? But, like, if I would have been on last week, maybe I would have been at the wrong time. Oh, now I got a nap, too. I'm going to have to make some, of that, some more of that stuff. Oh. Oh. I'm being attacked. <laughs> I have my fuzzy sweater on because I'm freezing, because I'm cold natured. Um, it's really not that cold here. Now I'm back to being six hours behind. Oh, okay. Because I was only five right No, I was always six for you, wasn't I, Wendy? So I would have been seven last week. This is too much math for my head, I think. Oh, okay. And last week, okay, last week I would have been five. Yeah, way too much math for my head on the Sunday. Oh. <laughs> All right, that's the big stuff. Well, I got one more. Yeah, it was a rough week here. I did not get anything, like anything, done. Um, really, since Thursday. I mean, I got some stuff done, but not anything really on my list of stuff to do. And that was irritating the crap out of me. So, I made my little task list box um, longer this week. Because I'm going to try and play catch up. It was just, it was not happening this past week. You do numbers for a living. I can do um, the kids math. It's driving me crazy right now, but I could do their math. I used to be good at math. I really did. My desk looks like a bomb went off. <laughs> Got to look crafting in just a hot mess. Yeah, right? Well, Michelle, look at you getting all ahead of the game. I have not even started mine. Ooh, but I did order uh, Archer and Olive uh, journal, which I am going to test and review. And I'm trying to figure out what I want my 2019 journal to be because I haven't completely decided yet. I mean, the contenders are really the scribbles in matter and like an archer and olive or something like that um with thicker paper in it so we're gonna i'm gonna see how it does when it comes in and if i like it i may be switching for 2019 because it's got 160 gsm paper in it and although there's not quite as many pages as i would like um it is still plenty so if the paper is nice and smooth then yeah that might be my new journal and i want to do more in it like watercolor and things like that um and the scribbles that matter is just like it can hold some the pro can anyway but it's even a little iffy here recently and i just i don't know so i've been i wanted to do like a couple of watercolor galaxies 
but it's just going to bleed straight through the pages. So I don't know what I'm going to do about that yet. Um, so right now I've stuck to doing the Faber Castell gelatos, but, and I love them. I really do, but I was wanting to do a little bit something more and that just didn't happen because I'm scared that it's going to bleed through my pages. Oh, you got a lemon. I got one of those scribbles at my for two. Love it. Okay. I gotta go back up. Oh, hello in Ohio. Um. <laughs> Let's see. You've changed your 2019. I want to get started with mine because I, I planned on filming the process and sort of taking everybody through how I set up a brand new journal since I'm going to be starting a new journal for 2019. So, yeah, I was going to do the videos on that. But, yeah, I don't know. I don't know yet. So, how did you get a lemon? Is it just one that doesn't take water well? You know, I really don't understand what's going on. The scribbles that matter... I mean, I love them. I really do. Like, this is like my favorite journal so far, but they are really, really iffy when it comes to water. And that's been irritating me recently, which is another reason I've been testing out all these notebooks and looking for a replacement because I want something a little bit more reliable. And it just hasn't been that as of recent, which is disappointing because I really do love this, this paper. Has yours come yet, Denise? I wanted the one with the stinking moon on it. Um, but every time I look at it, it's sold out. So I had to settle for the little shooting star one, which is fine. It's just not exactly the one I wanted, but it's good enough to test for now. And I did go for the like the regular one, the $30 one, and not the $35 one because I sort of like stain the edges of my paper anyway. So I thought that that would sort of defeat the purpose of like those silver edges. So mine will just be colorful. I'm really excited. I, I'm, I don't know if it's shipped yet, but I am excited to get it. I do have another Scribbles That Matter uh, coming in. I think it's supposed to be delivered tomorrow. And that's going to be my sort of backup just in case. And because I'm holding these giveaways. Oh, if y'all haven't uh, seen the giveaway. Hello. Um... <laughs> If y'all haven't seen the giveaway over on um, Instagram, it is running through midnight my time tonight, or just before midnight, like one minute before midnight, and I'm picking a winner tomorrow, and I'm going to do a giveaway all each week this month, and I may continue it through the end of the year because it's only six weeks um, instead of four, but... I'm going to be giving away all kinds of fun things. So, this week was a Loistrom, a pack of Galaxy Tombos, and whew, a set of Tombow Mono Drawing Pens. I don't know what I'm going to do. I think I'm going to do some uh, watercolors for next week or something like that. Hello. Oh, I'm going to mess that up. <laughs> Sonora. Write it phonetically. <laughs> I'm going to mess it up. Uh, oh, it took two weeks. Oh. Oh, you got the one with the moon and the stars. Oh, no fair. That's the one that I wanted. The one with, like, the little crescent moon and then a couple little stars around it. Yeah, that was the one I wanted. And then second, I wanted the one with the moon faces out on it. But I ended up with just the just the stars. But really, I'm, I'm not a fan of long shipping times. Like, I really don't get that. Um, but I guess they have a lot of orders, so I don't know. I would prefer. It says one to three business days on it. I mean, and then, they, or you could have paid $35 and got it shipped in one business day. I'm getting attacked by this gnat, um, which I didn't want to do. Oh, I got him. I'm like, that was more expensive than the darn book. I'm not paying for that. Let's see. Somebody asked me a question. 
have you decided yet if you're doing one or two journals for next year um i kind of at the moment and this could change because there's still like six weeks left um at the moment i am thinking that i'm only gonna do one journal instead of two uh and sort of embrace the chaos that is having the collections in the middle of things when they tend to pop up which is I'm sort of baby stepping into it with the fact that my 19 before 2019 is in between this week um this week's daily pages and next week so baby steps baby steps but I'm I'm trying uh so as of right now um as of right now we're going with one um, but I always have extra journals here, um, in case I change my mind, which happens a lot as well. <laughs> so, you could ask me tomorrow and I could be like, um, I think I need like five, honestly. So, <laughs> I don't know. We'll see when it happens. <laughs> but I am sort of meticulously <laughs> planning out the, the collections that I know, I know I want in the front, uh, of the journal. Like... I plan on, because journals last me somewhere up to six months, depending upon how I do my weeklies and if I do dailies, then I am going to go with um, this style of year and pixels and temperature log uh, when the new year starts back up and do six months at a time. And then if for some reason I need a second one in the same journal, then I will put the second half of the year in there um in the middle of the journal somewhere oh i can't say that either <laughs> that is my problem as well yeah i mean i just i'm okay right now i really am with this being in the middle instead of up behind up behind the the rest of the collections in this month but then i i don't know we'll see See, I can't say that. Jo Joey? Is it Joey? I don't know. Um, that's the one I got. One of the moon phases, but that one was sold out. Yeah, see, that was... And I tried to get there as quick as I could when they said it was restocked, and I still didn't get it. <laughs> you really don't need the... Oh, true. I don't need the temptation to use it either. I mean, because... But I do. I don't... <laughs> I, I don't know what I'm talking about. It's okay. All right, we're going with dark blue. I got satellite is the color of my darkest blue, I believe. And I have no... Oh, is that blue? No, that's not blue. I have no idea where my little blue doohickey is, so I'm going to dig it out here. Oh, there we go. Oh, I got it right, Joey. <laughs> Hello, Joey. Hello. All right, so we're just sort of... Going in around the edges here. Making this week blue. <laughs> but anyway. I'm really excited. I'm really excited though. Because, well, I mean, regardless of whether or not I go ahead and start setting up the um archer and all of now uh i really want to do a pen test in it like and a paint test in it and all that good mess like bad bad so hopefully because i'm not a patient person i'm really not i have none um in the way of patience <laughs> um i hope that they get that shipped out nice and quick oh <laughs> find it you can't lose that wendy you need that. But yeah, no no patience at all. I think, I don't know. I was thinking about setting up another journal. Uh, maybe a Loistrum, maybe a Scribbles that matters since I can get those off of Amazon relatively quickly. Um, for the new year with collections that sort of I would set up. And then... Um, Maybe having that as one of the giveaways. 
there's something that I use or have a lot of or could have or something like that that you would like to see in one of the upcoming giveaways, drop those in the comments though because I am looking for suggestions. I don't know. So the coming week, I'm going to definitely have something, probably either gelatos or uh, watercolor or something. Something fun to play with in a journal. Since I gave away a journal this week and some Tombos, I thought something different would be nice. Okay. Hello, Lori. I make junk and art journals, but I'm interested in bringing Boudre spreads into my handmade pages. Ooh, awesome. That sounds like fun. I love junk journals and art journals. I really do. I need to sit down and, and make some more. Um, because I also, I really enjoy like binding books together. I don't know why, but I do. Hello in Canada. Oh, crap. Why is everybody <laughs> names I can't pronounce? Um, is it Betsu? Bet Betsu? Oh, my God. You are that Joey. Ooh, what Joey? Ooh, tell me. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. I feel so out of the loop. All right. I got some dark blue in there. Ooh, yeah, what Joey? I need have my curiosity peaked. I need some, some different blue, I think. Dude, Wendy, shoot me a message. Tell me what Joey. <laughs> You're good at shooting me messages really, really quickly, so I'm not out of the loop anymore. are, aren't they? I believe Archer and Olive is in the U.S., but I'm not sure. They would definitely be U.S. or Canada, right? They've got to be U.S. I can't look it up while I'm talking to you. Oh. Y'all gotta shoot me links. I want to check it out. Do you have Instagram, Joey? Or where is she finding you? There's not a big difference. You can't really tell, probably, through the camera. But at least, this add in this blue, which is metallic blueberry. Uh, blueberry, metallic blueberry, is adding a little bit of depth by giving it just a little extra color. I believe they're based out of Texas. Okay. And yes, and Facebook. Oh, you should send me a message. I'm going to come and check out your junk journals. I mean, I like love them, love them. And for someone who's a little OCD about everything and enjoys everything being just so and in its place, I love junk journals and the messiness that comes with them. So that would be really fun to see. But I will definitely check that out. like junk journals are supposed to be messy and junky so it's like it's perfect i'll tag you in one of the posts on insta oh awesome thank you you're the bestest wendy you know it all right do i need stars i, I might put some stars around the edges Stars, stars, stars. Oh, aren't you sweet? Thank you. <laughs> uh, okay, I want to order one. 130 GSM would be perfect for me. I'm on their website. I don't think the pages are numbered, but I can probably live without that. I don't do the index. See, that's my thing, Lori. Like, I don't. I like that the pages are numbered here, but I don't really think that doing without the page numbers is going to um, upset me in the slightest because I don't do the sinking index either. So, yeah, it might be a little bit more bothersome to someone who does, but I just don't. Um, oh, cool. And, um, you know, 130 would be great, but I, 
do they have a 130 option? Did I not look deep enough into this website or did I just get excited and start ordering willy-nilly? Um, I might have done that because like 130 would be perfect. There you go. Found your box and they're based in Texas. Awesome. I'm getting a little too precise with my dots here. Oop, well that was not a dot, that's a stinking line. That's a shooting star, that's what we're gonna call that one. The pages aren't numbered. 130, okay, 130. Well then maybe I read it wrong, I don't know. I don't know what I ordered, I'm just, I got excited, I saw a notebook, I'm like, ooh, I'm gonna go get that one, and I clicked order, so that was the extent of the thought process that went into getting mine. My hands are like uber shaky today, so I'm trying to not be precise with where I put these dots, but to make sure that they are in fact dots and not lines like this little weirdo over here, but be different little weirdo. You can, it's fine. That's okay. You have a hundred, okay, yeah, maybe that was what I was looking at. Yeah, it, maybe it said 130 GSM and 160 pages. Maybe I just got the numbers sort of flipped in my head. I'm really excited. I'm really weird about my paper, though, so I don't know. Is it really smooth? You, do you have one, like, in front of you? Is it really smooth? Is it sort of coated? Yeah, I'm super excited. So I hope they ship it quickly, because like I said, I have zero patience at all. And if they do ship it quickly, I'll probably order more. Because that would be an awesome little thing to give away um, as well. If I love it. Because right now, the only contender for my affections as far as journals are concerned is um, the Lloyd's Term. And it holds water, anybody who's curious, it really does. It holds water a lot better than the scribbles that matter. It just, and it, a lot more consistently. The scribbles that matter is sort of just hit or miss as to whether or not they'll be okay holding the water. Are you guys all in the U.S. or Canada? Ah, uh, I'm in the U.S. We got people everywhere though. Somebody's in Canada. Who's in Canada? Was it Denise? Oh, Turkey. Hello, Turkey. Oh, is it? Okay. Well, honey, I, being right is, <laughs> is a new concept for me half the time. I really don't know. It's okay. I could have just as easily been completely off on that. It's all right. We don't care. Okay, there's little silver stars. Oh, hello in England. There you go. Oh, Lori's in Canada. Yep, Wendy is in the Netherlands. Sam's not here. Where's Sam? Sam is in England somewhere um, on an island somewhere. Yep, Michelle's in the U.S. We're from everywhere. Oh, I smudged half of that. Oops. Oh, well. Oh, okay. Denise is in Ohio. Oh, Diana is in the Netherlands also. California. Hello, I don't know your name. Raven Love. Oh, hey, where's Margaret Margaret Ann, Wendy? You need to get on Sam and Margaret Ann. I'm feeling a little neglected. Took me so long to remember her name. <laughs> Try not to smudge the gold like I did the silver with my big boofy. Um, sleeves here. Just buzz them. There you go. You are on it, girl. Oh, Tara. Tara 
or Tara? Oh. Oh, and there's a pixie girl too whose name I don't know. I'm usually so much better at this. <laughs> oh, we got new people. Hello, new people. I was considering a Lois charm for my collection journal and an archer and olive for my actual planning. I think that sounds like a fabulous idea. Probably one that I will be revisiting very soon because this is most likely going to drive me crazy that my collections are in the middle of everything and I might go back over to my, my pretty flower cover and do two. Sam has family. Oh, hello. Tell her I said hello and to tell my little buddy Daryl hello too. Oh, and that I need to know when Daryl's birthday actually is. She needs to message me. I gotta message her in a little bit. Because I know his birthday is this month, but I don't remember what stinking day it is. And I might try to get him something out in the mail if I have enough time to get it there. Not new, just never talk. <laughs> well, talk to me. I love when people talk to me. Mariana. Okay. Oh, it's the 25th. Dude, I totally have time, I think, to still send him something. I need to send him some stickers. I will try to get that out in the mail tomorrow. Uh, and see if it gets there in time. There's Margaret Ann. Hello, Margaret Ann. All right. Where is my little jar of crap? I need my jar. Um, I got no clue where my jar is. We might not have white stars if I can't find my jar of crap. Oh, it's over here behind my Dr. Pepper. Yes, we didn't think you were going to join us, Heavenly Ma'am, Mark Ridan. Uh, there for a second. I was getting sad. <laughs> Alright, so now Dr. P.H. Martin Bleed Proof White. We'll do the white stars. So this little process is how I did all of my pages for November. I was a little bit more sporadic with the little dots um, because I had more room to work with, but this is the same process for all the rest of the stuff this month. If anybody's curious or didn't watch the Plan With Me video, this will do it. This stuff works as great white out too, by the way. Um, it really does. Is it? I don't know if everybody's is this thick or it's just because mine got cold and sort of gooped up a little bit, but it works perfect for me, so I'm loving this crap. I hadn't really used it a whole, whole lot before this. All right. Studying and playing got in the way. Does anybody have anything exciting happening this week? Because I big old fat don't, but I would love to hear if somebody else did. Whoop, that's a fat star. That's healthy. I'm getting really excited for December, I can tell y'all that, because I'm starting to put together the sticker collections for the, th the steampunk thing, and I've got gears all over the place, and keys, I've got, ooh, a hummingbird that I can't show you, um, it's Dr. P.H. Martin's Bleed Proof White, it, I don't know if it's actual paint, or if it's just like white goop, but it's, it's very zinky, how about that? Uh, <laughs> um, it's very zinky. It's monthly, and so you'll be happy if you work less than 10 hours a day. Oh, crap. I wish I did. I just have doctor's appointments. It's like, ah, oh, I know that feeling. Uh, 
Well, no, fine. Somebody needs to do something exciting so I can live vicariously through them. But, yeah, yeah, I've got a hummingbird sticker that's coming up. I'm going to do black and white for, like, the doodle sheets. I'm going to do um, black and white this month and color because I'm loving some of the designs. But I'm going to have, like, the black and white sheet as an add-on to where you can add that to your... Um, your kits for December if you want to sort of color in your own. So I'm thinking I'm also going to do an owl and maybe a kitty cat with a top hat or something like that for like the doodle sheet of stickers. And I've got some headers and banners and um, I'm having a lot of fun with it so far. So I'm probably going to be posting some of the progress photos and things like that over on Patreon this week so that y'all get a little sneak peek of what's coming. I'm very excited. I, I've been waiting for this theme ever since we decided on it, um, which is why I never really decided on themes months in advance uh, before because I get like weirdly obsessive about it. <laughs> so if I don't know what's coming, it works out better for me. Um, but we've had, what, Steampunk decided for December for, like, three or four months now. And so, I've been, like, very, very patiently waiting for it to get here. Um, and sort of failing at that. But, yeah, very, very happy about that. Oh, um, who was it? Is it Stacy? Stacy, is Stacy here just not talking to me? Stacy might be here not talking to me. Um... Because I don't remember if she... I don't know if she saw my last little response to her on Patreon or not. So, oh, speaking of Patreon. Um, next week, next Sunday, probably at 2 o'clock my time. So, an hour earlier than I would normally be here. Um, is when I'm going to do the live on Patreon. But I've got to figure that out. Um, and get the specifics down. Because I don't know how to go live on Patreon. But we're going to try... And if nothing else, we'll just make a Facebook group or something like that for the patrons and we'll go live there. One way or another, I'll get the kinks worked out of it. Alright. <laughs> Alright, so that stars. I'm going to sit here and I'll talk to y'all while I'm making sure this is dry. I need to put my headers and stuff in here. Oh, I need to get my pins out. Um, let's see. I got a blue thing happening. So, find some blue pins to work with would be nice, I think. All right, steampunk seems really awesome. How does the Patreon thing work? Um, just Patreon in general uh, is like a platform where you uh, donate a certain amount each month. It's like $1, $3, $5, $10. And there's different tiers. And you choose which tier you want to be a part of. And then I have these little rewards that you get depending upon which tier. And I don't remember which tier it is. I think it's the $10 tier or something. Where you're a part of that and you get... Um, and these colors really match. Um, we're doing a live every couple or once a month. And then there's another tier where we do a second live. And I don't know. All kinds of stuff. So as long as you're part of the Patreon group. Then you get whatever rewards are on your tier. And every tier below you. Oh that one's a little bit better. I don't mind that one. I need a darker blue. How is that not exactly the same color? Uh. So, and then, yeah, they, uh, like, Patreon comes in and they charge you once a month for however much you've signed up to, to donate for. And, and as we go through the month, I, I post little freebies on there and printables and you get my monthly setup. That's too dark. Um, pages as well and... Stacy was 
she didn't know that you got the monthly PDF and she mentioned something. Oh, that one works. Um, she mentioned something um, on one of the comments and I wanted to make sure that she found them. Um, this is real package. Hot. Does that mean you like Christmas? <laughs> That's sweet. Uh, no one, no, I will never like Christmas. <laughs> I do love steampunk. Oh, I thought about doing like one character set that was sort of like a steampunky Christmas set. But I don't know. We'll see how that works out. Ooh, that one's not bad. Okay, let's play with these. Those look like they match. Okie dokie. Um, oh, and uh, the Patreon thing also, if you sign up for like uh, one of the tiers or something, then you can go back over the previous months, even though you weren't signed up at the time, and get the stuff from the previous months on that tier as well. Um, Alright, I want my numbers to be nice and light. I love it too. I'm gonna go, I want to go and find a couple of, um, this is the fifth. I want a couple of new artists that I can support on Patreon too. I think it's really important to sort of, um, support artists, uh, in any way I can. So, I, I really like going in and finding new ones to sort of support I think every little bit counts. Like I said, and at least that way, it's not sort of like a one-way deal. So you're not just donating and not getting anything in return. You get all the little rewards for each one of the tiers. So I think it's really cool. I, I, I really like the platform. All right. Okay, let's see. This one is business tasks. So I'm going to try to write this backwards and without writing it out in pencil first. So we're going to see how well that works out for me today. I can do it. I can do it. I just can't sort of do it and talk at the same time. <laughs> Tasks. Ta-da. One word down. But yeah, I do hope to have the entire sticker kit and all of the atoms for it done this week, I believe. Let's look at my sheet, because now I don't know. I'm doing a lot of catch-up tomorrow since I missed the vlog on Friday, but, ugh, my head was killing me. Um, let's see. Now I can't find my stinking thing. This is the only problem with things being in the middle of everything. December kit. Yeah, I planned on having all of it done, oh, I'm very ambitious, by the 7th. <laughs> yeah, that's probably not going to happen. So, if I, <laughs> if I go through the end of the week, that might be a little bit more realistic since I'm a little bit behind from the stuff I wanted to finish last week. So... Yeah, because I started the December plan with me, I wanted to do... Um, in stages. I want it to come out on Friday the 16th, but I want to do it sort of page by page so that I'm not sitting down for like one, two, three hour session all at once. And so I'm going to film part of it on Monday, part on Tuesday and things like that. So I was going to try that this month. We'll see if that actually happens or not. And then I want to get everything sort of out on Patreon. There's all the stuff that comes out in the different tiers out in the following week and then all that other stuff so i sort of planned out everything in that little task list 
um, which was supposed to keep me organized. Yay! Alright, Miss, I finally finished my setup. And only one mistake. You're awesome. Really was all. All my, um, well, it would be nice, Susan, if I remembered to ever use my bookmarks. The stinking thing is in one of them. I don't know. It's, <laughs> I was going to say, watch it be in that one. It's in my weekly spread right now. And I've got one whole extra bookmark, too. Let's use it. I don't know how to get it out. This is the one attached to the cover. There it is. I found it. You're so smart, Susan. <laughs> I'll never use it, but you're so smart. Okay. So, yeah, it's just a monthly calendar Wendy set up, um, basically. And then I've got the different projects, like the big projects for my month. And then listed out in smaller little steps. And then what day I want to get them done is where the dot is. And then what day they're actually accomplished, I'll probably fill in. But since I actually haven't accomplished anything yet, and it's already the 4th, um, <laughs> nothing's been filled in yet. But that's okay. <laughs> And then this is on my, yeah, this one's on my daily page. Um, which you could see yesterday. It says, one of these days something will get done. Yeah, that it didn't. Oh, we did help my mama. I can mark that off. But, yeah. That was the extent of the things that got done yesterday. She's getting her forever floors. Um, I think tomorrow. So, we had to go and pull the the toilets out of her half bath in the downstairs last night so that they could get to it. So we went and helped her with that and we will have to go and put it back once her forever floors go down. Um, but yeah, that was pretty much what happened yesterday. Um, I worked on a couple of drawings, but like I said, I have not actually finished any of them because I'm getting a little a little obsessive about uh, the different ideas popping into my head, so I'm kind of have to rein it in a little bit. I'm not going to fit home in here. Oops. Close enough. Well, this just got really sloppy, but okay. We can zhuzh it up and make it look like it was supposed to be that way. Might work for my projects if I can get like a routine in, then I actually get my YouTube channel up and running. See, there you go. Well, see, that would be like your big project. And like you could do that over the course of a month and write all the little bitty steps down in between on each line and sort of set yourself a task for it. Um, it might actually, yeah, it might come in real handy. Um, I saw... Where did I see it? I saw Christina77 Star over on Instagram um, is who I saw that from. And yeah, it was like a projects list. And I thought I can probably use that for the different stuff that I have going out every single month. Because those things never really change. Like I'm doing the sticker kit every month. And I do Patreon every month. And I do the YouTube channel every month. And the plan with me. Um while the rest of the videos on my YouTube channel change every month, the plan with me is something that stays the same. How about page flags? That's a good idea also. Alright, that looks a little bit better. And then, we'll use this dark one, not that side, to put in the thingies. And all kinds of different blues going here all throughout this spread. Monday, Tuesday. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So far, so good. <laughs> Alright. Now, I think what I want for the bottom here is sort of a ombre. So I'm going to do the dark blue on the bottom and we'll go up to the light blue in November. Oops, 
Now I'm focusing on the coloring and I stopped talking. <laughs> But anyway, so yeah, I'm hoping, I'm hoping to have the full sticker kit done by the end of the week. But I will definitely be putting some updates over on Patreon. In fact, if I remember, um, when we get done here, I'll probably go ahead and put like a photo or something of the, the hummingbird because I really like it. Um, and how it's starting to look so far. That's a very wintry feel all of a sudden to it. It's very blue. Oops. I totally missed a piece of letter here. didn't do my numbers either. You're so <laughs> I play it off well. Sometimes I'm patient, sometimes I'm not. I just like sitting here talking to everybody. That's the majority of it. So I'm not as focused on the page itself, which helps me. Because I do run out of patience fairly quickly. Alright, what else do we need? Do we need anything else? I have no idea where my stickers <laughs> went, like, at all. Like, I had extra stickers printed out. <laughs> because I always have extra stickers printed out. And I don't know what happened to them. All of, the only page that I have over here is this one. And, um... I'm going to put my adulting is hard sticker here, I think, because it's, it was a rough week. So maybe this will make this week go a little bit smoother. That doesn't make any sense um, at all and or, or have any logic to it at all, but that's what I'm going with. So we're going to go with that. And what else? We need days. So... Anybody who is new here, this down here is my sort of meal tracker. So this is where I will write in the meals for the week. Sometimes. Not all the time. And, um, it is a little calming, isn't it? I, I like that too. Um, very soothing. Blue is a very soothing color. And then this one is my weather for the week. I'm going to put the days in here also. i got just blues everywhere. So nice. It is a little wintry though. But it is very calming. Alright, so that's my weather for the week. And these are my home tasks, which I will fill in. Um, based off of the stuff that I need to carry over from last week and anything that has, uh, that I do have this week. And I got meals down here, all my business tasks, and then main things for the week. But I don't even know if I have any appointments this week. You can't be good old pen and paper. You really can't. And see, I did the, I see, and I gave the, um, digital planning a whole couple months really didn't I everybody I, I really don't know I did the digital planning and while I loved it when I came back to paper I got so excited because it's just I don't know I don't know what the difference is but there is something 
Um, very, very different about just putting pen to actual paper. Um, that just is so much better. I mean, I still have my digital planner and I still use it for some stuff. Um, like I put my budget in there and I put my financial tracker in there and anything sort of private I do still put in there because I show my journal to so, you know, everybody on a daily basis sees my journal. Um, so there are some things that are private and that I have to keep to myself and those are the things that I put over there. But um, everything else goes in here and it's just so much better. How do I decide to go, or how far to go with the ombre? Um, that, I, I knew I had three colors, so I just decided to do thirds, honestly. Um, that's how, and I would have done the same thing. Uh, if I had two colors, I would have probably gone up halfway with the one color and then come down the halfway with the other color. I don't know, it just sort of depends on what mood I'm in, I guess. <laughs> But that is how I made that decision. I'm going to have to leave these three out so I know which blues I used for the week. Um, and then I really enjoy going back to the regular daily pages. While I did enjoy the whole Dutch door theme we had going on um, last month. Let me find one like this. I still felt a little restricted and then I didn't like the whole bumpy feel to my journal uh where the pages started to sink in around the edges and then this was just much more open and then i could doodle in here if i wanted to i could letter in here if i wanted to i filled in the empty space with happy birthday to my youngest and all that good stuff so i think i'm gonna stick with this sort of daily for a while and go back to having like two daily pages in between each week my little chore stickers in the kit this month oh well thank you um i am going to see i was playing around with those um this month so i'm definitely keeping that but i thought i'd add a few more in um because the way that i'm sort of spacing out the kit now it'll allow for me to I don't know why that's black. Anyway, um, <laughs> I'm so easily distracted, y'all. Okay, so we've got, um, there will be, it, I'm going to go back to being able to separate these into individual pages. So there's a banner sheet, there's a header sheet. So all of these headers will be on one sheet. Um, the banners and things like that will be on one sheet. And then you've got a doodle sheet. And like I said, for this month, I'm probably going to have a doodle sheet that's in color and then a doodle sheet that's black and white. So, there's also a doodle add-on page um, for the stuff that won't fit on the first sheet. I didn't do a weekly header kit for this past month, but I am going to go back and make another one of those. So, that will be a sheet. Then you've got the functional add-on uh, sheet, which I've been playing around with. Um... So, it'll have a few little page flags on it. It may have a couple of banners on it. And then it'll have the the days uh, going both this way and this way. So, horizontal and vertical for the add-on sheet as well. Because that is something that gets on my nerves a little bit. Having to write out the numbers over and over and over again. So, I thought a cute little matchy-matchy one each month would be real nice as well. And then, we're going to have like a washi sheet. Because that was on the doodle sheet this time. Uh, and I wasn't thrilled, thrilled about that. Um, but the washi sheet will be separate. And then you've got the little birthday sampler and then the regular sampler as well. So those are sort of all the different pages that are going to go into the December kit. So all kinds of goodies. Now the basic, the banner sheet, the header sheet, and the doodle sheet, the first doodle sheet, are going to be what's in the actual kit itself. And then you can add on... The rest of them as many or as few as you like and i'll also make sure that um each of those three if you only want one specific sheet will also be individual as well so uh, and then i'm gonna like and the these little doohickeys or whatever they're also going to be on the functional sheet the little and i think i may have just a little sampler each month to make these match what do you think about that idea like the sampler sheet is 
you know, the smaller sheet. It's the different sheet, but then we could have like matchy matchy um, little things. And anytime you want to shoot suggestions over, please go ahead and do that. Um, you can send them to my Instagram, my Facebook, on um, Patreon, here on YouTube. Um, because I'm sort of expanding the little functional stickers to include uh, a wider range of things. And so if you have a, a functional sticker that you'd like to see, like drop those anywhere and let me know what they are. Because I just went with like basic, like cleaning and meds and laundry and things like that. I need a little, I'm going to have a little grocery cart in there as well because I like that. So, huh, that was a lot of words, <laughs> but those were going to be all of the different pieces of kit that you could get this coming up in December. So it's got gears in it. It's got little fun animals and top hats and keys and all kinds of fun things. So I'm still working with that. But I'm really, really excited about um, how that's coming off. So on, on the 11th at 2 o'clock my time is the first live stream for the patrons. And then on the 25th is the second live stream. So, and I'm going to plan to make those right about an hour. And we'll do different things during those live streams. It won't necessarily be planned with me. Um, it may be something here in my journal. But it probably won't be like a weekly spread setup. And then we'll do the lives like we normally would. And I don't know if I'm going to cut that back to twice a month. Or stay with every week right now. But then I'll jump over here and do the the lives either on the opposite weeks or right after the patrons so we'll see how that works i don't know i ran out of things to say though because i think we're about done today it was fairly quick oh that didn't take long at all that was only an hour like an hour exactly for us to set this up and and get it all going huh but yeah, that's pretty much it. That's all. I don't have anything else to do because half of my stuff is online that I need to pull from my task list. And the rest of it is here. So I'd just be flipping back and forth a whole bunch of times. So I think we're about to round it out. And that will pretty much be it for today. I'm going to see if I can't get in the swing of using my stinking bookmarks. Um, now that they're sort of all in place here. But... Yeah, does anybody else have any questions or, or anything before we sort of wrap it up for today? Because otherwise, I'm going to wish you all a fantastic stinking week and um, go do my stuff. I still got an office to finish and house to clean and all that good mess. And Wendy's laughing at me. Why are you laughing at me? <laughs> Yes, if I'm not eating my boots, will you set up for my birthday month? Which one's your birthday month, Wendy? Oh, you have a good week, too. You didn't tell me your name, Pixie Girl, but okay. Have a great week. Oh! Sam just messaged me. Oh, January. Send it over, Wendy. You know, you're one of my favorites. That's not nice. Andy says that's not nice, but it's okay. Oh, hi, Jamie. I'll try to remember that. I can't make any promises, though. All right, y'all. I will see y'all in the vlog again tomorrow, and I will see you here next week. Um, everybody have a great week. Bye.